Hopefully it doesn't break. <laughs> Jay, there's a fire. There's a fire. Oh! <laughs> All right, quickly before we get into today's video, I just gotta let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a very exclusive virtual photo booth on Fundo with 30 of you guys. Only 30 people can enter. It's very early, so we're one of the only people that's getting access to it. It's basically gonna give me a chance to chat with you guys, kind of like we were on FaceTime for a few minutes, and take a picture together and hang out, get to know each other a little bit. So if you guys wanna participate, it's gonna be this Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern. In order to sign up, all you gotta do is check the link at the top of the description. And for the first few people, we got a discount code so you can save 25% if you sign up and use the code it's your fam but do it quickly because it's not gonna last forever we're just doing it for the first few people and like I said there's only 30 total spots so be sure to sign up quickly hey what's up ladies and gentlemen it's your boy and welcome back to another video as you guys can see here we got a giant tank of water in front of me and we are gonna be doing some science experiments today that's right it's your scientist isn't fully back but he's like kind of half backward I'm dipping my toes in the water but if you guys want to see it's your scientist come back to the channel completely i will get a brand new lab coat i'm unfortunately guys the old itchy scientist lab coat i lost it i know i'm i'm disappointed too i know you guys are disappointed at home but like i said if you guys want itchy scientists to come back to the channel we'll do regular science experiments again on this channel it's one of the first series we ever started with then all you got to do is smash the like button if we can get over 10,000 likes on this video i'm gonna be back with consistent monthly science experiments for you guys so i don't know what you're waiting for scroll on down smash the like button are you ready for the first science experiment jay are you ready you're not you're ready okay this one's gonna blow your mind all right we've got a tank of water here what's missing something's missing you don't know what's missing this is what's missing it's gonna blow your mind okay come on you need the rubber ducky vibes come on are you stupid look at these Look at these guys, we even have a little motorboat. Somehow. Okay, but we're gonna leave our rubber ducky, we're gonna leave the little baby rubber ducky in here. They're just gonna be vibing out while we do our experiments. And seriously, I have the first experiment. Are you ready? Jay, are you ready? Yeah. Wait, that's no. This way. No, this. We're doing it anyway. Now, in case you guys are wondering what we're doing with the water tank, besides putting rubber duckies in it, and potentially having a bath later. We are going to be doing a bunch of underwater science experiments. We've got a bunch of cameras set up, so we're gonna get all the possible angles of these cool little experiments as they interact underwater, because normally we see stuff happen, you know, just out in the air. But now we get to see what happens underwater, just in case, you know, you were curious. So our first experiment is pretty simple. We're gonna blow up this balloon. Oh, you're gonna pop it while I was doing it. <laughs> All right, so you guys probably know what happens when you pop a balloon outside of the water. Boom. Oh. Did I scare you? I scared myself. <laughs> what happens when you pop it underwater? I gotta blow it back up. All right, here we go. To be honest, I actually don't know what's gonna happen. Ready? Oh. <laughs> oh, yo, that was lit. So as you can see, it bubbles up. <laughs> All right, that was pretty cool, I know. It's time for our second experiment. As you guys know, just a little bit of Mio in your water can make it a lot better. So we're gonna see how much Mio you have to put to actually change the entire tank into something that would be delicious. And then Jay's gonna try it out. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Let's see what, if it does anything. I feel like that looked kind of cool. Yeah, it does actually, do it, do it again. That's wavy. No, it's changing the water color a bit. Bro, it's just floating. Yeah. I want to change the color, so we're going to add something else. The classic, Nesquik. If you guys didn't have this in your childhood, you're missing out. Classic way to make some nice chocolate milk at home. You just squirt this in, it turns any classic white milk into chocolate milk. So let's see what happens. Oh, yo! That's wavy. Also kind of disgusting, but really cool. When it's slowly going through, watch. It looks disgusting at the bottom right now, but... So our experiment to change the water color isn't exactly working. I've got one other thing. We're gonna be out here for a while, right? What happens if we just let a bunch of Skittles soak in the water? Ready? We're making a concoction on this side right now, folks. We've got our chocolate Skittles and Mio on this side. We're gonna let it sit, and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do some more experiments. Are you ready to blow this whole thing up, Jake? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could see his face. This right here, 
You know what it is? Oh wait, we gotta we gotta set it up first. Okay, wait. Give me a minute. <laughs> the cloud is not new one. <laughs> Guys, look, it's been like five minutes since we put the Skittles in. It's already evaporating all the color off, and it's created this like chocolate rainbow. Almost looks like stars like coming down or something. I don't know, but it looks pretty artsy. I think we might become an art channel, guys. That's been five minutes. We still have a bunch of other experiments to do. We've got, you know what this is? <laughs> it's compressed air. <laughs> so, <laughs> we saw when like a big bubble of air exploded underwater. Now let's see what happens when we shoot some compressed air underwater, all right? <laughs> Yo! Okay, let's check it over here. Okay, obviously we have some next mixture going on. Okay, I'm gonna put the whole tank underwater. Ah! <laughs> Yo, that must look really cool from your angle because we can't really see it and it's raining off. Oh, Basically, the bottom of this is liquid air, which I don't know if you guys knew was a thing. I didn't even know it was a thing. But if you flip it upside down, this should shoot liquid air out inside here. Are you ready? Oh, it's like smoking. You see that? Oh, what is that? I'm doing more. <laughs> Yo, why is it smoking? That's trippy. Okay, it's raining. We're gonna have to head inside right now. Guys, um, it stopped raining, but our tank looks disgusting. Ew, 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 ew. Poor duckies, look at them. They're not vibing anymore, so we've gotta empty this out. Uh, this should be interesting. All right, guys, I realized we should take advantage of this duck to water while we can and do something that would also dirty the water instantly. So we've got a bunch of spray paint cans here and I've never done a hydro dip, but today we're gonna hydro dip a ducky. Teal's gonna be our first color. Oh, that looks sick. Now we're gonna go with the red. Okay, red vibes. Some uh, royal blue. Oh my God, I'm not looking. It's the worst <laughs> hydro dip ever, but it's my first hydro dip, so bear with me. I think what we do, we just dip it in slowly. Right into the red and the, the red, blue, teal vibes. Ooh, oh, whoa. Look at the river ducky vibes. Okay, we're gonna set this off on the side, let it dry, and then now we're gonna clean the tank. It's, oh, it's so <laughs> Okay, we need like buckets. I have to empty it out slowly. Uh, all right. <laughs> it looks like a hurricane hit. <laughs> Alright guys, we got about 30 minutes while this tank fills up, so little Ducky's gonna get it. If I hit him, you guys have to smash the leg one. Jay, what the <laughs> Yes, they will smash the leg one. Nope. Oh, that was so close. Ducky's gonna get it. Nope. You didn't get it. <laughs> Go on duck hunting, boys! You did again. Oh! <laughs> Shit. Ducky survives. Enough. The Thank bottle you, got Gilmore. dummied. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the GoPro got slapped. All right, we can't hit the little ducky, but maybe the big ducky. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. Shoot. Oh. Why can't? What is going on? How can I hit the bottle but I can't hit the duck? Did I get it? Nope. Why not? Because you missed. <laughs> I might have hit it too, because the one you hit, it like hit it and ricocheted off. Alright guys, we got the tank full and now it's raining again, but a little bit of rain isn't going to stop us. We got our cameras set up. It's that high production value, folks. Alright, we've got an egg. I just want to see what happens if you like poke an egg and it just like slowly slithers out. Here goes nothing. This is the hardest egg in the world. Okay, nothing. <laughs> is this egg cooked? Oh! that you okay we're gonna pop the yolk oh, that's disgusting you it went like right down onto the GoPro remember when I said it might make a mess of the tank right after we cleaned it I was right <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, let's go on to our next experiment. Alright guys, for the next one, it's getting very disgusting already, so we're gonna shoot a paintball. Now this might actually destroy the entire thing, so this is a bit of a risk, but hopefully it doesn't break and we get to see what happens when a paintball shoots through the water. Here we go, three, two, one. Where'd it go? It broke. No? Yeah, yeah it broke. Ready? Yep, yeah, go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I just got soaked. I don't even know if you guys could really see. Hopefully you can see the paintball like shooting through the water. That's kind of what the goal was, but um, our tank's getting very messed up, so we're gonna go on to the next experiment quickly. <laughs> All right, guys, next up, we got a fire extinguisher in a can, and we're gonna see how this looks underwater. Wait, should we do it out of water first? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend there's a fire here. Jay added a fire. <laughs> we gotta get rid of the fire. It's out. I'm gonna shoot it straight down onto the GoPro. Ready? Whoa. Oh, it's not really working. Well, that's not what we wanted, but we have a real fire extinguisher. <laughs> now this one should work. Do you know how to use this? I don't really. I've never actually had to use one of these. Jay, there's a fire! There's a fire! <laughs> Bad! Bro, the rubber ducky's on fire! He's on fire! Don't worry, I saved the rubber ducky. If you hadn't seen that, you gotta pay it more attention, man. Look, he's still a little on... Alright, he's better now. He's better now. Okay, let's try this in the tank. I don't even know what's... It's like really raining. <laughs> we should probably not still be out here, but... Okay, ready? Yep. <laughs> That's lit. Look at it. Can I touch that? Yeah. Ew. Okay, now I'm gonna st stuff it underwater and do it. Yeah. Guys, smash the like button right now. We're out in the rain doing science experiments for you guys. Here we go. Whoa! Yo! All right, we finished all our fireman duty. It's out, as you guys can see. Hopefully you can see it. I know the tank is pretty messed up right now, but take a look at what floated to the top. What is this? For anyone who actually knows science really well, Itsy Scientist isn't here, like I said. So he would normally explain the science behind this. He's not here, so I don't know what's going on. But if anyone knows, comment down below what this is. What's actually in a fire extinguisher? The tank needs to be cleaned again, so... Uh... Jay, we, we gotta clean it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, now for our final experiment, we got to do a little bit of a setup. As you guys know, people like to drop a single Mentos into a Coke, but not here. We're dropping towers into... It just split. No, 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 no. So basically, we're going to build these into little towers of Mentos. And we're going to drop all of them into the Coke at the same time. So it's going to make a big reaction. It might even just like explode the tank. Jay's kind of scared, but it'll be fine. I'm going to keep doing this and then we're going to head outside for our final experiment. Before we get on to our final experiment, just in case you haven't seen it before, this is it. I missed. Wouldn't it have been cool if it just like <laughs> fell right in? Here's a regular Coke and Mentos. This is how it works. How did none of them, not one of them. Okay, we're just gonna do this regular. Three, two, one. Hey! Alright, guys, again, we're waiting for the tank to fill up. <laughs> okay, the tank's already full, but I just really wanna do this. So, we're gonna set up. A Coke can, and instead of shooting the paintball gun, we're gonna test my dart throwing abilities. By the way, that's a bubble house, guys. <laughs> Comment at home if you guys think I'm gonna get this, and if I do, you gotta smash the like button. Ready? What? <laughs> it broke. It hit the top and it just popped right off. Okay, okay, I'm getting this. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, that did damage. Yo, who needs a paintball gun? Just use a dart. <laughs> First try, baby! Are you dumb? Yo, that was a clean little puncture right in the top there. Let's go do the actual experiment we're here for, though. All right, folks. Rain or shine, we're out here. Got my coat ready. It's time for the grand finale, folks. If you haven't already, be sure to smash the like button again, especially if you want to see Itsy Scientist return and do more science experiment videos just like this. We've got our Tower of Mentos. We've got our two-liter Coke bottle, and we are going to be doing the Coke and Mentos challenge under water so all that carbonation goodness we need that it's gonna allow this to work hopefully so we only get one chance <laughs> our cameras are ready we're ready jay are you ready p 
people at home, are you ready? Type yes in the comment section. Three, two, one. Oh, it's fucking flying out. You see that? Yo. Oh my God, oh my God. Ah, more. Ah. Oh, it's like stopping it. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Oh, All right, man. that was sick. Yo, attempt number two. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, yo, it's shooting everywhere. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> yo. Bro, it's all fizz. Literally all fizz, top to bottom. That's crazy. All right, we're done. <laughs> I feel like I really want to watch that back. But as you can see, this is all disgusting again. So we're going to squirt some mustard in and see what happens. Yeah! Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. To end things off, folks, we've got a trophy for you guys because you are the number one fans on YouTube. I love you so much, so I got you a trophy. We're going to hydro dip the trophy. Bada beep bop boom. Bada. Hydro dipping your trophy. All right, there you guys go, your brand new number one fans trophy. I'm gonna be giving this away to one of you guys. All you gotta do is comment down below, bring It's Your Scientist back, and I'm gonna pick one of you and send you this custom hydro dip number one fan trophy. <laughs> As always though, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Toodles!